Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 People Who Escaped From Prison It's amazing to see what prisoners go through and the creative plans they come up with to escape. Very few succeed, let alone live to tell the story, but those who survive and succeed are part of a very small group. Some of these amazing stories are unimaginable, but best believe they did happen in real life. Ready to be amazed? Here are 10 people who escaped from prison. Number 10. Ronald Silva – A Woman's Touch 2012 Just to ease things up a little, we start with a genius escape idea by Ronald Silva. In 2012, this drug trafficker was able to escape from a Brazilian prison. When his wife came for her weekly visit, she gave her husband the clothes she was wearing and changed into a spare outfit she had in her purse. Silva then went to great lengths to shave his arms and legs, apply fake nails, put on a wig, lipstick, heels, and the outfit that his wife had left him. He was able to walk right past the guards and out onto the street without attracting any attention. However, as he walked towards his friends waiting at a bus stop, a clever officer noticed him struggling to walk in the heels and spotted that something was not quite right. Silva's wife claimed that while she brought him the clothes, she had no idea what he intended to do with them. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9, The Texas 7, December 13, 2000 a group of prisoners dubbed the Texas 7 escaped from the John B. Connolly unit on December 13, 2000. The Texas 7 schemed an elaborate plot and took 16 people hostage, including supervisors, officers, and three other inmates. They then took credit cards, IDs, and clothes to be able to fit in as civilians. Four of them stayed behind to call the prison guards to distract them. The rest of them took over the guard tower, stole weapons, and a prison truck which they used to escape. They were apprehended just over a month after. Six of the seven were placed on Texas's death row while the seventh, Larry James Harper, committed suicide rather than returning to prison. Number 8. Frank Abagnale – Catch Me If You Can – April 15, 1971 the escape of Frank Abagnale has been heavily popularized even in Hollywood. Frank was a notorious fraudster and imposter, and who the movie Catch Me If You Can is based on. Frank started committing crimes as young as 15 and escaped prison twice. The first time was while he was being deported to the US. Frank escaped off a British airplane at JFK. He was eventually recaptured in April 1971, at which point he made his more grandiose escape. In April 1971, Frank used his wits to trick the guards into aiding in his escape. When checking into the prison, the U.S. Marshal forgot Frank's detention commitment papers. At this time in the U.S., many prisons were being inspected by federal workers for civil rights issues. Frank seized the opportunity to manipulate the prison guards into believing he was an undercover inspector posing as a prisoner for a review. He spent weeks building up the story. He used an accomplice on the outside to further convince the guards by forging a fake FBI business card that identified him as an officer. The guards gave him special treatment, thinking that they were helping the prison pass the inspection with flying colors. Eventually, he walked right out the prison, and the guards allowed it, thinking they had them fooled. Frank was on the run for another two months before being rearrested. However, the PR damage was done and the story got out, making Frank an instant sensation for his ingenious escape. Number 7. Roger Bushel, The Great Escape, March 24, 1944 Devised by squadron leader Roger Bushel in the spring of 1943, the Great Escape from the Prisoner of War Camp Stalag Luft III occurred on the night of the 24th of March, 1944. Bushel was in command of the escape committee in the North Compound where the British airmen were housed. His great escape plan involved the building of three bloody deep, bloody long tunnels underneath the camp fences. The tunnels were nicknamed Tom, Dick, and Harry. 
If one of the tunnels was discovered by the Germans, it was presumed that they would never suspect two more might be underway. More than 600 prisoners were involved in the tunnel's construction, with Bushel aiming to get 200 prisoners to freedom. The tunnels descended 30 feet below the surface and were only two square feet. The walls were shored up with pieces of wood which were mainly scavenged from the prisoners' beds. The prisoners were very inventive with their scavenged items. Tin cans became scoops and candle holders. Candles were fashioned from the fat off the top of soup served in the camp, whilst wicks were created from old clothing. The sand dug out of the tunnels was discreetly scattered while the prisoners walked around the camp. The 200 potential escapees were divided into two groups. The first group of 100, called Serial Offenders, were guaranteed a place and included prisoners who spoke German well or had a history of escapes. Seventy of the men were chosen because they were considered to have contributed the most to the tunnels. The second group was chosen by drawing lots. On Friday, March 24th, the escape attempt began. At 10.30 p.m., the first man out emerged and discovered the tunnel had come up short. Rather than reaching into a nearby forest, the tunnel had come out just short of the tree line and perilously close to a guard tower. Even so, 76 men crawled through the tunnel to freedom before the 77th was spotted by the guards at 4.55 a.m. on the 25th of March. Of 76 initial escapees, 73 were recaptured. Hitler ordered half of the escapees to be executed as an example. Number 6. Andrew Rogers, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams The Magic Key, January 10th, 1995 In an escape that sounds unbelievable, three inmates escaped in the UK by memorizing the outline of a key. Inmates Andrew Roger, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams worked in the prison's sheet metal shop and made all the necessary tools for their escape in the shop. The trio memorized a guard's master key outline and made a replica that essentially allowed them to open any door during their escape. They also made a 25-foot steel ladder and a homemade gun. They were caught four days later trying to map out a plan to steal a plane. Number 5. Frank Lee Morris, John England, and Clarence England The Alcatraz Escape, June 11th, 1962 In another extraordinary tale that has been popularized by a blockbuster film starring Clint Eastwood, three prisoners escaped Alcatraz. Frank Lee Morris, John England, and Clarence England escaped the infamous Alcatraz on the 11th of June, 1962. The three prisoners of the notorious Alcatraz Island escaped and mysteriously went missing. A plot devised by fellow prisoner Alan West saw Frank Morris, John Anglin, and his brother Clarence spending two years digging an escape route through the cell walls and building a raft to sail to freedom. Alcatraz was a maximum security federal prison located on an island off the coast of San Francisco. Surrounded by water, it was deemed to be inescapable. The fact that this trio dug a tunnel through a concrete wall using a spoon sounds unreal till today. To buy time, they created paper mache dummies outfitted with hair from the prison's barber shop and laid the decoys in their beds. The prisoners then went into the water via a boat they had made from over 50 stolen raincoats. Their escape was not noticed by prison guards until the next morning. At that time, a search began, but ultimately the men were never heard from again. The FBI and Alcatraz jail officials assume, to this date, that the three men drowned in the water. If this theory is true, their bodies have never been discovered. There has been some speculation that the three men escaped and moved to Brazil. A letter was submitted to the police in 2013 claiming to be from John England. It claimed that while all three successfully escaped, he was the only remaining one still alive at the age of 83. The FBI stated that fingerprint and DNA evidence was inconclusive, and the authenticity of the letter could not be positively concluded. In 2016, a photo was revealed that allegedly showed the two brothers in Brazil 13 years after their disappearance. Authorities have not confirmed that this photo is in fact the escaped convicts. 
With the way things are going, it seems escaping the prisons in threes has a higher chance of succeeding, considering the last two scenarios. Number 4. Choi Gap Bok That's a bit of a stretch. September 12, 2012 we couldn't end this list without a good laugh, so how flexible is flexible? How about you ask South Korean criminal Choi Gap Bok, who escaped prison in 2012 by the virtue of being a yoga practitioner and being very bendy. Choi was a yoga practitioner of 23 years, who just five days after his arrest squeezed through a food slot that was only 5.9 by 17.7 inches. The whole thing reportedly only took 34 seconds and earned him the nickname of the Korean Houdini from journalists. But he was caught just six days later. Number 3. Joaquin Guzman Laura, January 2001-2014 Perhaps the name Joaquin may not ring a bell, but for sure you have heard of his alias title, El Chapo. He is a Mexican drug lord and former leader of the Sinaloa cartel. El Chapo first gained popularity due to the massive media attention. He'd escaped through a mile-long tunnel built underneath the showers of the maximum security prison. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill tunnel. It had lighting, ventilation, and a modified motorcycle on tracks that was probably used to aid in the construction of the tunnel. Funny enough, he's managed to escape from prison twice. His first escape occurred in January 2001. After being arrested on drug charges by the Mexican police, El Chapo bribed guards in his prison to assist him in his escape. He escaped the prison by climbing into a laundry cart and was able to avoid capture for the next 13 years where he escaped again. Despite all these prison break attempts, he was recaptured again in January 2016 and presently remains in jail. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 2. Helicopter Escape Clearly the image looks like Photoshop and has nothing to do with a prison escape taking place at the time. However, there have been several helicopter escapes. One of the infamous ones involved two women who hijacked a helicopter at gunpoint. They spirited two convicts out of a prison yard and flew to a waiting van they used to escape. But all four were captured after a shootout. Another incident involved a notorious French criminal, Red Juan Fade, who escaped from prison by helicopter. Number 1. John Herbert Dillinger Jr. Public Enemy Number 1. March 3rd, 1934. We must leave the number one spot for the man whose crimes earned him the infamous title, Public Enemy Number One, by the FBI. John Dillinger was dubbed Public Enemy Number One after escaping high security prisons twice in his life. After robbing two banks, he was captured and imprisoned in Lima in the autumn of 1933. There, he befriended seasoned criminals who smuggled guns into the prison and escaped just four days after Dillinger's capture. The group then returned to the same prison a few days later, impersonating Indiana State Prison officers and released Dillinger from the jail. He was captured a year later and was sent to Crown Point Jail, a prison famous for being escape-proof. However, in what is now a famous tale, Dillinger escaped from the jail with a fake gun. There's still debate about exactly what the gun was made from and how the escape happened, but the popular opinion is that he used a wooden gun that he'd painted black with shoe polish. Guards were fooled by the gun and allowed Dillinger to leave the prison after taking 17 men hostage. While on the run, he made the most of his time and got a few more robberies under his belt before being killed in a shootout with the FBI a few months later in July. 